hello guys it's me z from wireless solution and today we are going to show you how to google verification bypass on lg k40 so you can see that uh, this uh, is being factory set and uh, while well, to do this make sure you are connected to wi-fi uh, we can go to accessibility setting go to switch your phone access switch access setting and once you come here help and feedback once you are in help and about switch access click on this one click on this one time okay once you click on this you can see the three dots click on here click the watch later if the three dots is not showing at first attempt there will be a clock sign you can click on that one okay uncheck this accept and continue no thanks now here we are going to download a software that's called bit.ly forward slash lg back up okay now you can see um, you are going to download this software allow download it's downloading wait for it to complete now it's completed okay so i just did it for you guys i already downloaded the software but what we can do is walmart uh, type here walmart okay then go to the map click on the map okay and click on the map again skip once you are here click on this sign so it take you to your destination okay now you can choose anyone just click on the direction if it's this is showing you so then click here and click your location okay <clears throat> now start got it okay now click here and say open google open google now from here you need to type file file you will come here allow so now you go to download this file is being downloaded you will click here move select this move to sd card but i already have this file in here so you just hit ok once you hit ok you go back okay now here in some phones it will allow you if you type lg mobile switch but in this phone it's not allowing you so here you are going to type setting click on the setting once you are in the setting click here in the search box it will take a few seconds to prepare here you will type lg mobile switch click on this one uh, so once it's open click agree click on SD card I already have SD card so you need to put the SD card if you remember I show you how to transfer from the phone to the SD card hit restore once you hit restore click on this hit next and restore it will take a few seconds to do so and uh, now it will uh, tell you to restart the phone after this once the phone is being restarted so then we are going to do a few more steps and i'll show you that the phone has been factory data reset so and uh, those who are new to my channel please please subscribe the channel she like the video share the video i really do appreciate your comments you when you like the videos share the video i do appreciate that it uh, give me a boost and more energy to make more videos on new phones how to do the google verification bypass and uh, <coughs> this one you can see that uh, the phone is going to be restart 
and after it's restarted we are going to do some of the process the same way that it's been doing okay so first you need to be connected to Wi-Fi so hit next um, what I'm going to do is connect to Wi-Fi now once you are connected to Wi-Fi just go back you don't need to go further go to accessibility do the same process switch in setting uh, help and feedback click on this one and you can see the clock sign you can click on the clock sign if it opens switch access etc so you get okay just stop here Walmart the same way we did before okay once we open Walmart where is the map so here you click on the map again the same way this time it will have your location if not you need to put the location again and click on the direction sign again choose your location get started give me once so now as we here we are going to click again on open okay one open Google okay so we don't need this so what we are going to do click here and type Q new ICK quick shortcut maker you can see this click on this one now once we are here you need to go down uh, go down we are going to go to setup weather once you click on this one one two three click on the third one and type try so you can see the factory data receipt is being proceed and you can see everything here so now what you are going to do is you simply restart the phone if you didn't restart it after a few seconds the phone will restart itself so once you restart the phone you can go to the main screen uh, once you go to the main screen so after that what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go to the setting and hard factory set the phone uh, the thing is uh, we need to do that you know, just to erase everything if there is any uh, things that is with the new software apart from that uh, your phone will be working perfectly fine and the gmail verification code would have been removed so we are just waiting for it to start and after that we will see what's going on sorry guys i had to pause the video i receive a call so it may take a little more time with you guys because I paused the video after that what we are going to do is uh, it may take a few seconds to start Come on. thing what I'm going to do I'm going to pause the video because it may take a little time to start the phone after that we will go from there okay so the phone is being restarted now what we are going to do just simply skip each and everything skip skip continue next no except no thanks it will take a few seconds um, but after this once we done we are just simply going to hard factory reset the phone then once it's done 
we are perfectly perfectly good to go okay agree agree go to setting okay go to general reset and restart factory data reset reset the phone okay so the phone is not 30 percent charge it should be 30 percent charge and after that we can hot factory reset the phone and you guys are good to go thank you have a nice one enjoy your time guys